Hey everybody, I want to talk to you about Vinyl Master version 5 and some of the outlining features. Now, outline features are available on previous versions, but keep in mind that certain things might not be available on each version. For me today, with what I'm showing you, I'm on version 5. So I've got a couple of designs here that we're going to use as examples. I've got some text that I just typed up real quick, as well as a vector file right here. So let's start with the vector file and we'll just kind of go back and forth with some of the options and show you how they work. So outlining allows you to create kind of a layered or again, outlined effect or look. Now there are some templates or default options that you can choose from, or you can even use the outline tools module, which I have right over here on the right hand side, to really customize it and make it exactly what you want it to be. Now I am going to show you just real quick how to get to this section. So it's over here on the tools bar. So hit tools and the drop down outline tools and module. So let's just go over some key points of the outline if we're using the create option over here. We will use hello world as an example real quick. You'll see that I'm starting out right now at uh, defaulted at a negative 4%. Negative 4 is going to be what's cutting on the inside or creating on the inside of your design. Anytime you do an outline, it's creating a secondary image that you'll then use to either layer, if you're using vinyl, which is what I work with, or you'll use to cut out or pop out on your program here before cutting. I'll show you what I mean. So with a negative, watch as I change the number here, you've got this orange line that's showing here on our design for each of the pieces. Now, as I move the number up, that orange line gets closer and closer to the edge of the design. We get to a zero, and that orange line goes away. If we go to a positive, it now turns into a blue line on the outside, creating a design that's going to be bigger than our own. So let me show you what I mean by first creating a positive percentage. So we're going to go to a 4%, and I'm going to hit Apply. You'll see now we have kind of this blocky looking thing. If I grab one, we have two separate designs. It's created a secondary design for us. And when you cut it on the, uh, like for example here, your vinyl cutter, you can cut both these designs independent of each other and then layer them to create a look like this. Or you can highlight both and use the punch out option. And now your cut will look like this. Now you'll see a couple of things are missing here. Well, one, we're missing the centers cut out of the R and the O and the Ds. Sorry, the O's and the D. We can fix that. We're just going to kind of go back in time and erase everything we just did with our Control Z or Undo feature. So we're back to our original design. We're going to click here. And we have this box here that says Keep Holes. We hit Keep Holes, and you'll now see that there's a blue line at the center of the D, the O, and the R. When we hit apply again, now that's cut out and you've got the centers popped out here. For visual purposes, I'm going to change this top one here, which is our original, to a different color. And I'm going to use C and E to bring them together. And you'll see we can have this layered design. So if you wanted to create a vinyl decal like this, you could cut this one in black and this one here in red and then apply them on top of each other for this, this look here. Or you can hit punch out after selecting both of them together and cut this and just have this as your design with the white being the negative space and the black being the vinyl that you use to cut. So some cool features that you have there. Now we can, one thing that I'll point out here, you'll see that the outer dimensions of the design are bigger because essentially the negative space is the same size as what our design originally was. So effectively, we're making our design a little bit bigger in the dimensions by going with the positive outline. Let's go back in time again with the undo feature of our original design and show you what I mean by going to a negative. Negative is going to cut out the inside. So let's go to a negative. Yeah, negative four looks pretty good right there. We're going to hit apply. And I'll show you again, we have two separate images here. But now, the one that we have down here is our original. Again, for visual purposes, I'm going to make the one that we've just created a different color so that I can show you the layering. Now, right off the bat, it's going to want to layer by putting the smaller one behind. Well, that doesn't really work when you go to cut it out because 
you've got your larger image on top. So if you cut out or punch out, I should say, it just deletes it. We don't want that. So we're going to change the layering and bring that red to the front by right clicking, hitting object and display tools, order and bring to front. From there, we can reposition everything just a little bit. I'm going to go to C and E to position them centered. And we'll do punch out again. And now we've got this design. So those are some ways that you can manually play with the outline options over here. But I want to show you some of the pretty cool templates that we have. And we'll do that by using our vector file that we have here. The templates you'll find over here on the left hand side. And we've got the little T. These are the vector effects. I'm going to click on that. And it's going to bring up a few different features. So the first one we have is the outline module. You can get to that by clicking here too, but we'll click outline module. And that just brings you uh, a few more detailed features that you can do with the image before uh, doing it on your canvas. So you're kind of getting a, an idea of what things are going to look like here before putting it on your canvas. We've already played around with that a little bit though. So let's move on to some of the templates. We have drop shadow. You'll see that literally creates a secondary image to give it kind of a shadowed effect. And I'm going to change over here to show the cut path. And you'll see the cut path is going to cut your apple out just as you'd wanted. And then it's going to cut another piece here for this portion of the shadow and a piece here for this portion of the shadow. Change it back to viewing the image as it should be. I'm going to hit Control Z just so we are back to our original and show you some more options here. Next one is block shadow. That creates a more a uh, thicker blocked effect, almost like it's coming at you. Now you'll notice that with this, you've got some, uh, actually, let me click back here. We're going to hit block shadow again. Before I click away, you'll notice that we have some settings up here. That's what I wanted to show you. So these settings you can mess around with and change to see how your design is going to look. For example, if you wanted, when you cut, cut two different colors, you could have your apple on the inside be one color and the shadow be another. So let's change the shadow to maybe, a, oh, that's a little bright, hard to see. Nice blue. So you could cut the block shadow portion in a blue vinyl and the apple in a black and layer them for this look here. You can adjust the uh, size of the block shadow. You can adjust the positioning of it, the distance, which way it's going, and the size of the outline for the uh, original image. So tons of things that you can adjust here to make it just right. Again, we're going to go back to our original image. And I'm just hitting Control Z a billion times. And we're going to go look at some other features here. We have the outline effect, which just takes care of the outline like we talked about earlier, but just does it for you right there real quick. You can adjust some of the settings if you wanted to, have the insert smaller, bigger, change the colors. We can do the inline effect. And I'm going to show you here under the cut path, that makes an inline cutout right here. Similar to what you're doing here, but less customization because it's just a template. And then we have our multi outline, gives us multiple layers. Multiple inline gives you multiple cuts on the inside here. And I'll show you the cut path again. You can have all these cut layers here. Go back to our original image real quick. And then one of my favorites that we have is the stripes effect. So you can create a striped effect on your design and choose how many stripes you want it to have, the total width of the stripes. And let's go like that. And look at the cut path. You'll see this is our design here. You can kind of get a good, better, better image of it there. So it'll cut multiple pieces, giving it a striped effect. Doesn't really cut out too well on this image here, but you get the picture. All right, that is some of the features that we have on the text outline or graphic outline option. I'd love to see what some designs you've come up with. Please uh, let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed.